We want to solve the system using matrices, which means first we need to set up our matrix with the coefficient in front of x, the coefficient in front of y, and the constant on the other side of the equation. We do the same thing for the second row. Now we want to get, um, in the top equation, we want to use the top equation to get a 0 in this position. So that would mean we could multiply the top equation by negative 3 and the bottom equation by 2 and add those together. So we'd have negative 3 times the first row plus 2 times the second row, and that will become our new second row in our matrix. So we have 2, 1, 6, and then we'd have, in this case, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, plus 2 times 3 is 6, so that's 0. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, for a sum of negative 7. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18, 16 times 2 is positive 32, for a positive 14. From here now, we could actually solve the bottom equation for y if we wanted, because we have negative 7y equals 14, so y equals negative 2. Backing up, that means 2 times x from our first equation, plus y, which is negative 2, will equal 6. So 2x equals 8, or x equals 4. For a solution, ordered pair of 4, negative 2.